Look up and tell me the weather. Is the weather the same with the weather yesterday? How can we tell if it's going to rain or not? And what are there that we need to study for us to know what will happen here? Now join us in another wonderful adventure with me, Teacher Danny, in this Atmospheric Science episode. The air looks empty. However, you can feel gases in the air when you wave your hand. And you can see the gases feel a balloon or a tire. Now, air is made of gases. And the blanket of gases that clings to our planet is mostly made of nitrogen for about 78%. The oxygen we breathe provides almost 21%. The remainder is the argon, carbon dioxide, and small amount of gases. Now, the air that surrounds the Earth is called atmosphere. It reaches from Earth up to about 700 kilometers or 435 miles. Mm. The atmosphere is made up of five layers. Now, the layer closest to the Earth is what we call a stratosphere. Now, the weather happens here. Now, here, gases in the air are most crowded together. Higher up, the gases grow thinner. The storm is coming. First blood wiped out. All the air in the atmosphere presses onto Earth's surface. Now, the amount of air pressing onto the area is called air pressure. Think of air pressure as the weight of a column of air pressing down on a patch of Earth's surface. At sea level, on Earth's surface, a little over 1 kilogram of air presses down onto each square centimeter, almost 15 pounds for each square inch. That is the pressure at sea level. High on mountain top, the column of air pressing down is shorter, so it weighs less. There is less air pressure as you climb, and you don't feel this pressure because air pressure pushes in on you in all directions. This push balance each other out. Now take a look at this picture. Here you can see the lens of the arrows which will help you compare the air pressure on the two places. Now, there is less air pressure at the mountain than at sea level. See? Here's a quick check. Again, how can you tell that air is around you? And what causes air pressure? <laughs> now, here's another question. Why are temperatures different? One of the reasons is Earth's shape. Earth is shaped like a ball. Because of Earth's ball shape, sunlight is more direct in some places and more slanted in others. For example, it is most direct at the equator. Now, the equator is an imaginary line around the Earth's middle. Now, the sunlight makes a 90 degree angle at the equator. The angle gets bigger north or south of the equator. Aside from the angle of the sun's rays as they heat the surface, during the day, along shore, you can feel a sea breeze coming from the sea toward the land. At night or early in the morning, you feel a land breeze moving from land out to the sea. But why? <laughs> the southern seas are my domain. 
Now, sea breeze during the day land heats up water faster. Now, water stays cooler longer. Now, as air over the land gets warmer, air pressure over the land drops. Now, air pressure over the water stays higher longer. Now, the sea breeze moves from high pressure over the water to low pressure over the land. The land breeze at night cools off faster than water. The air over the water stays warm and longer. Now, as the air over the land gets cooler, air pressure over the land rises. Now, air pressure then over the water is lower. So, the land breeze moves from high pressure over the land to lower pressure over water. Now, don't be confused on this. Land breeze come from land, while sea breeze come from the ocean or other large bodies of water. Now, the key difference is due to the property of water to retain heat and warm up longer as compared to land, Land breezes are also known as offshore winds, while sea breezes are also called onshore winds. Ah! Air pressure can change during any day. For example, as air pressure changes when air temperature changes, Two scope barometers are used to measure air pressure and tell how it changes. There are two kinds of barometers. One is with the use of mercury. Air pressure pushes onto mercury in a tube. Now take note that mercury is a liquid metal. Now as the pressure increases, the mercury rises in the tube. Now the second is an aneroid. Now here, air pressure pushes onto an airtight container. Now, this container gets smaller as air pressure increases. Now, for those kids who are aspiring to become pilots or stewardess, we use these barometers to tell how high up their planes are. The higher up they are, the lower the air pressure is. Adventure is waiting for us! Land and water temperatures change throughout the day because land warms up faster than water does. The changes in air temperature cause air pressure to change as well. Now, as the temperature goes up, the air pressure goes down. As the temperature goes down, the air pressure goes up. Now, air always moves from areas from high pressure to areas of low pressure. Take note of that. Now, in area of high pressure, cool air is sinking. However, in the areas of low pressure, warm air is rising. So, as the air moves, heat is traveling along with the air. Heat traveling through the movement of a gas or liquid is called convection. Now, when convection happens in the air, it forms winds. Now, this can be just local breezes or winds around the world. Now, sailors who travel from different parts of the world use winds that always blow from northeast to southeast. And they found these winds between the Tropic of Cancer and the Equator. And we call this as the tree winds. But remember, in different parts of the earth, there are different movements of winds. And these are affected by the Coriolis effect. Remember, the equator has low pressure because sunlight hits the equator directly. Trade winds blow all the time from higher pressure at the tropics to the equator. Now, trade winds are part of a system of winds blowing all around the Earth. Now, the global winds blow in predictable directions over long distance of time. They always blow from high to low pressure. But how does oceans affect the temperature on land? If you will live in a coast, air temperatures are different from places in land. In winter, it is warmer near the coast and colder in land. In summer, it is cooler near the coast and warmer in land. But why? Now take note, sunlight warms both land and water. 
However, the water warms up more slowly than land. That is, the water stays cooler longer than land. The air above the water also stays cooler longer. So in summer, in places near water, air temperatures are lower than places in land. Around the world, places near oceans feel the same effect. Coastal areas are cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter compared with places in land. Now, coastal areas have a milder climate than places in land. Take note that climate is the average weather conditions of a certain place. Climate includes average temperatures and rainfall. Here's a quick check. How does climate differ from weather again? <gasps> Think about it this way. Climate is what you expect, while weather is what you get. Dude, I told you to use sunscreen. Weather is what you see outside on any particular day. So for example, it may be a 30 to 35 degrees Celsius temperature, and it might be sunny, windy, or cloudy, or sometimes when it is lower, or when the temperature is lower, it might be rainy or stormy. It could even be in zero degrees Celsius with heavy snow in other countries. Elsa, do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> now that's the weather. Now the climate on the other hand is the average of that weather. The climate record also includes extreme values such as record high temperatures or record amounts of rainfall. Now, when we are talking about climate change, we are talking about the changes in the long-term averages of daily weather. Now, in most places, weather can change from minute to minute, hour to hour, or day to day. And sometimes, it can change season to season. Now, climate, however, is the average of weather over time and the space. Also, we often hear that weather news came from NASA. But what does NASA do? NASA stands for National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Now, NASA is the U.S. government agency that is responsible for science and technology related to air and space. Right here in the Philippines, our agency responsible for the weather and climate update is the Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical, and Astronomical Services Administration or what is known as PAGASA. You should be ashamed for not trusting yourself. So again, what is the weather for today? You better ask PAGASA. It's this time! What happens to air pressure as you move upward into the atmosphere? A. The air pressure increases. B. The air pressure decreases. Or C. The air pressure stays the same. Time's up! And the answer is... Letter B. The air pressure decreases. Number 2. A device that is used to measure atmospheric pressure is called a blank. A. Barometer. B. Thermometer. C. Kilometer. Or D. Micrometer. Go! And the correct answer is letter A, barometer. Question number 3. Air pressure is greater blank. A. Air pressure is greater at the top of the mountain. B. Air pressure is greater at the bottom of the mountain. Or C. Air pressure is greater at the center of the mountain. Time's up! 
And the correct answer is letter B. The air pressure is greater at the bottom of the mountain. Number 4. This is the result of the weight of a column of air pushing on an area. How do we call it? A. Air pressure. B. Density. C. Volume. Or D. None of the above. Time's up! And the correct answer is letter A, air pressure. Number 5. In what direction or directions does air exert pressure? A. Everywhere. B. Nowhere. C. There is no pressure. Or D. Downward. And the correct answer is letter A, everywhere. Question number 6. This is the average of temperature and weather condition in a certain area. A. Climate B. Pandemic C. Wind Or D. Breeze And the correct answer is letter A, climate. Number 7. Land heats up faster than water and the water stays cooler during the day because of blank. A. Land breeze. B. Sea breeze. C. Trade wind. Or D. Weather. And the correct answer is letter B, C breeze. Number 8. A system of winds blowing all around the earth is called blank. A. Global wind. B. Hurricane. C. Tornado. Or D. Storm. And the correct answer is letter A, global wind. Victory! Congratulations for making it this far. Now I would like to see your scores. Comment your scores below. That's it guys. Thank you for actively participating to our Please and listening to our short lectures. Watch out for another episode here in Fun and Learning with me, Teacher Danny. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to everyone. Bye-bye!